Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I remind you that we release a new video three times a week. Here's our dress with a hood and a one-piece sleeve. I'm going to make a vent on the hemline. Take a look here. Before we start basting, I make a seam trace in the center front. The seam tracing is ready. So my tailors will baste the back block behind the scenes. I will work with the front block. Look, here's the dart in my hood. I need to transfer it to the other side and baste both darts. I'll transfer the dart using pins. I can start basting our darts. Today I'm planning to baste and fit. I can't wait to dress Irisha and look at our result. Learn to make the dart in the hood here. Look, here the shoulder seam moves into the hood. I'll make a 0.7 millimeter notch here. Keep it. I will attach those pieces with a lap stitch. Here are some features about working with loading. It is also called blended wool. Now we're making a cozy dress for Irisha, and I think you'll get some useful tips on how to work with loading. I'll put our pieces on the right side. The front piece, look here, there is the base of the neckline. I use one pin. Let me explain why. I didn't cut our neckline, which moves to the hood. I used one pin there. Pay attention now. I match the right and the left front piece. They should match ideally. They should here and there along the length and the center. I match those pieces thread to thread and pin in the center. Here's our pin. This point is the base of the neck. I want to measure 16 to 17 centimeters down to this point. At this point, I will attach the right and the left pieces. I measure 16 centimeters from the base of the neck. At this point, my hood will separate. 16 centimeters. What do you think about how many centimeters I measure at the hemline? For example, Twenty-seven centimeters. It doesn't matter. Choose any length you want here. This is our vent. The main idea of this dress is
well-cut and organized clothing technology. While you're making a new garment, the process can get more complicated than you expected. That's why you should think ahead before you make a new garment. For example, this dress. I based from this point to this point. From this point, from the base of the neck at 16 centimeters, to this point, where our vent starts, I'll base to this point. Of course, you will see the finished garment. If we were to make a cardigan, we wouldn't baste here. But we're making the dress, not a cardigan. I turn our dress wrong side up and baste the second edge from the pin to the pin, just on the other side. I basted the front side. I put the right front block to the left front block and basted the second side and secured it like this. Look at our hood. It will separate here. This is our vent. Maybe you won't make a vent here or you'll change something there at the base of the neck. The main thing is cut, of course. Then use your imagination and do what you like. Look at our dress. Before I connect to the back, I want to put the hood pieces together. I put one piece of the hood to the other one with an overlap and baste. I need two centimeters here. We added one centimeter to the seam. Of course, I'll connect and baste the side and the shoulder seams. I temporarily won't make an overlap. Maybe we'll need to reduce or correct something. When I give it to my tailors, they'll do everything right. After I baste everything, it'll make more sense to you. I match the right and the left pieces of the hood. I add two centimeters and start basting in the middle. If you work with a loaded fabric, usually all the seams are made like this. That's how you'll be basting all the seams. Great. We're doing great. One seam, two darts, and the hood is ready. If you take another kind of fabric besides loading, it can be technologically problematic to make and prepare all the pieces. I don't like to baste manually, but this piece is round. It doesn't work any other way. This is the neckline of the back. It'll be sewn to the back from the beginning of one of the shoulders to the beginning of the other shoulder. This is our lower part. This is the hood. These are our darts. These are our notches. Nice job. Nice notches, the front piece, right side with the right side, waistline with the waistline. Well, I think it's a bit wide, but we wanted an oversized dress. If we want to make it narrower, we can always make it narrower. We wanted the oversized dress and we'll get it. Take a look here. I basted the side seams and we'll baste one shoulder seam. Take a look here. I make a notch here where my shoulder seam ends and the hood starts. I should connect this point with the beginning of the shoulder.
Now I'm basting the shoulder, and we'll just have to baste the hood over the neckline of the back. I have a request for you. Please learn to do everything accurately and correctly. When everything is done accurately, you'll have no problem attaching the pieces. You need to measure the neckline of the back. Measure the length of the back neckline for this piece. Add the dart. How many centimeters to add for the seam and etc. Those rules are simple. I'm finished with basting the upper sleeve section. What I would like to say, there are a huge number of options for decorating this dress. Well, pick any decoration you prefer. All sorts of pockets, loops, drawstrings, what else? Anything you want. Rims, decorative ropes. This is the hood center. This is the center back. I connect the hood center with the center back. I connected them. Look, I opened this notch here where the hood moves to the shoulder. I'm basting this part. It's loose here by two millimeters, but later we'll decide what to do. You don't have to do anything. We'll just take those two millimeters to the dart. The neckline of the back connects with the hood. The front block's hood is complete, but on the back block, it is set in. I basted everything. When I sew the dress, I'll iron the darts, steam the seams, remove the creases, work with every detail. It seems simple now. We basted the dress. Пока все приметано, когда будем окончательно уже шить платье, разутюживать выточки, отпаривать швы, все приводить в порядок, убирать заломчики, работать с каждым моментом. Пока очень все просто. Просто сметали платье. Вот по спинке начало плеча, начало плеча. Вот в росток вошла та часть капюшона, которая должна была войти. Выворачиваем, смотрим, что у нас получилось. Наше универсальное платье. Here on the back, the beginning of the shoulder with the beginning of the shoulder. This part of the hood connects with the neckline of the back. Turn it inside out. Look at our perfect dress. You can combine it with the turtleneck or a jumper. Irisha is slim. I would like to take more for the side seams. This is our vent here. I didn't do anything to it. Look, the vent appears independently. Why did I choose this design for the dress? I had thought about this design in advance. I mean, how easy it would be for you to make. The seam is a bit large here, but we won't change anything. Maybe I'll make it wider. We'll see. Until the fitting. Here, you see how big the seam is, but we won't do anything. Look at our dress. Here's the vent. The hood is wrapping here. It'll lay like that. Let's dress Irisha. Платье сметано, модель готова к примерке, одеваемся. Представь, как тебе зимой будет тепло. Пока ничего не пугаемся, у нас очень много забрали мы в боковые швы. Ой, хорошо сделали, что забрали. Смотрите, конечно, это все потом вырежется. Рукавчик загибаем. The dress is basted. Our model is ready for the fitting. Imagine how warm it will be in the winter. Don't be afraid of the appearance of the dress. This is our first fitting. I took more centimeters for the side seams. It was a good idea. Look, of course we'll cut here. I fold our sleeve. Look at our cozy dress with a hood. You can make your hood smaller or bigger. Let's show the hood. We made it bigger so that it could hang out like this, but you can, I would make it a little smaller, just like this, a bit. Choose the size of the hood you like. Oh, your hair, we'll leave it like this. I've got a red strip. Let's use it as the waistband. A cozy and pretty dress. I like it. I've told you about decorative elements. You can take a rope of the same fabric. It doesn't even need to be sewn. Cut it and it's ready. Or use a belt. I like the vent so much. I love the way this hood wraps here. Go on, spin around, please. Put your hands to the sides. Yes. 
This is our cozy dress with a hood, the vent and a one-piece sleeve. Choose decorative elements that you like, a waistband, pockets, or something else. Do you like this dress? Write your comments, please. I'm satisfied with the result. Yara, do you like it? Yes, of course. It's a perfect dress. I wish you success in your work. Subscribe to our channel and write your comments. Be your own kind of beautiful. In this dress, you look stunning. You can combine it with other garments. Yes? For example, with a turtleneck, with a jumper, or whatever. Or decorate the waistband. I know many girls are making beautiful garments and accessories using a blended wool fabric. You shouldn't finish the edge. It's ready. I like this dress so much. I wish you success in your work. You can make pockets or brooches using the fabric pieces. Here. Gorgeous dress. Thank you for watching. All the best from Irina Paukste and the rest of our team.